This is the Texas A&M Howdy Farm, which is a student-run, student-led initiative uh, to create a, a learning community where people can come and experientially practice sustainable agriculture. You know, I always ate healthy growing up, and then I realized something else that hit me really hard. Yeah, I know to eat a banana because it's good for me and potassium, but I had no idea where a banana came from. I had no idea where anything came from, and I was, I, I know I needed to learn. And so that's, I switched my major into horticulture from finance. And it transformed my experience at Texas A&M because I learned all this stuff in a classroom uh, when it comes to science and biology. But, you know, it's kind of hard to connect plant science when you're not dealing with plants. And so coming out here changed everything for me because it changed how I think and approach farming or gardening because there's there's the things you have to think about daily when you're growing crops that you don't get in the classroom you don't experience such as checking the soil moisture walking through and noticing um, bugs and infestations and knowing when to harvest something at, at what size and is it ripe or not and all of that stuff came together when I came out here you know we used to be a couple hundred square feet a few raised beds uh, when we had a hundred pounds of squash and we're like, I can't eat all the squash, what do we do with it, you know? And we started a partnership with Dining Services to source that produce to local dining hall Sabiso. So this concept of, hey, we're local, let's get some food, kids feeding kids. So right now we're probably three to five acres in production year round. So we started a CSA, a Community Supported Agriculture Research Program, where people participate by buying shares up front and for say a 12 week share, each week you get an allotment of vegetables. I love the, the state of horticulture today because we're kind of at a revival. Uh, if you look at the initiative set all the way top down from United Nations um, to localities uh, in Texas is that we have different avenues of how we're gonna feed the globe and the world. And I think part of that is urban farming. 